Hey guys, it's Lee Schneider, founder of Digital Fundraising School, with another edition of Kickstarter Success Weekly. Each week, I take a look at trending crowdfunding campaigns, tell you what's right about them, sometimes what's wrong about them, and put that intelligence to work for you so you can succeed at crowdfunding. All right, let's go. First, the Double Clicks, a sister songwriting team that has hit solid gold on Kickstarter. At the time of this broadcast, they've raised more than double their ask. Why? Let's play a few moments of their video. We're the Double Clicks. We are two sisters with a guitar and a cello, and we write songs about things like dinosaurs and Dungeons and Dragons and books and love and cats and love and cats and love. We just got a green screen. You may know us from the internet, from playing at a game store or convention near you, or from our many songs and collaborations like the theme song for Cards Against Humanity. You may also know us from Nothing to Prove, our big Geek Girl Pride music video. Last year, we did a songwriting project called Weekly Song Wednesday. Now, not only is the video charming, and so are they, but it's well produced, it's fun, it's easy to watch, and they actually pull off a good green screen, which isn't always easy to do. That's what lets them put themselves in front of any background they want, like the beach. Now, if we look at their page, scrolling down a bit, we see something key here. They tell you exactly what they're going to do with the money. Now, not enough people do that. Not enough people tell you exactly what they're going to do with the money. And this is so important. They also provide enough information about themselves so you know they've been around for a while. And they're serious about this, even though their music is lighthearted and fun. The lesson learned, put production value in your video. Take some time to do it right. Visit different locations. Get a real editor if you aren't one yourself. Make it as professional as your project because you want people to take you seriously. There's a lot right about the Double Clicks campaign, but their video is just spot on. Next, a quick shout out to Japanese The Game. I mentioned this in an earlier broadcast. The goal was $5,700, and now, at the time of this broadcast, it's up to more than $62,000. Everything I liked about this, I still like. It's got an engaging video, great use of Facebook. I don't really need to do a graphic for this one. You know how I feel. I just think that Bernard did so much right with this and totally deserves the 62,000 plus that he's raised. If you know me, you know I love photography and nothing has fascinated me more about photography lately than its changing nature. I'm going to be writing a piece about this for Medium, but now let's talk about the lens of the moment called Moment on Kickstarter. Everything right down to the name tells you that this is the Kickstarter of the moment. Everybody is using their iPhone as their camera of choice, if they happen to have an iPhone. And what Mark Barrows, the creator of this campaign, knows is that we need better lenses for our networked cameras, the ones in our pocket. The video is professionally produced. I'm going to play a little bit here as I talk. A couple of brief things about this video. Snappy editing, cut to the music, lots of locations. I love that about it. They have so many different people doing different things in different places. There's a lot of variety here. And later, if you play this video, if you go to this page and look at something else, you're going to see that they shot a lot of legacy cameras. They showed legacy cameras in the shots, making a cultural connection to the great cameras of the past with this moment lens of the moment. The goal was 50,000. They've raised more than 320,000 with 15 days to go as of this broadcast. Nice job. The lesson learned here, pick your moment, catch a movement. If your campaign can catch a cultural wave, like people using their phones to take pictures, you're going to get a lot of people saying yes to that. Now on Indiegogo, a campaign to live tweet the Murdoch phone hacking trial. If you haven't been following this, Journalists who worked for media mogul Rupert Murdoch's tabloid News of the World are on trial, accused of hacking into mobile phones. The trial has exposed an uncomfortable kind of entanglement between politicians and journalists, and this campaign is to fund a journalist's effort to live tweet that trial. Naturally, he's written about it, and others have written about it, and there's even a Storify about it, which is a way of collecting Twitter stories online. 
As of now, as I record this, it's raised over 13,000 pounds, more than $21,000. A lot of people care about this, about being informed about this trial, and that's why this campaign is working. The lesson learned here, social issues matter. If you have a social issue that you care about and others care about, it can find an audience and funding with crowdfunding. Here, the Murdoch phone hacking scandal tells a lot about power and the abuse of power by the media, and a lot of people care about that. Okay, let's sum up everything I've talked about so you can put this intelligence to work in your campaign. First lesson learned, video production value. Yes, always a good idea to have great production value in your video. As much value as you can pack into that couple of minutes, it's going to make a big difference. In the examples I showed, we saw various locations used, uh, uh, a green screen used, lots of really cool effects people hired real editors, it makes a difference. Next lesson learned, pick your moment, catch a movement. If you're going to do something that's of the moment, like the moment camera, well, naming it moment is a brilliant stroke, but people will really connect to something that is part of a movement. Finally, the lesson learned in the last piece, this phone hacking scandal Indiegogo campaign, social issues matter. Thanks for joining me on Kickstarter Success Weekly, where I also talk about Indiegogo campaigns from time to time. I'll see you online at digitalfundraisingschool.com. Looking for a beginner's guide to crowdfunding? I've got just the thing, a free class online coming up soon. It's great if you're looking to get started in crowdfunding or you already know a lot. Just go to digitalfundraisingschool.com, click on the free class link, or just check out the links right below this video. Thanks.